hello you are welcome to solve this math problem which is x plus y is equal to 6 x y is equal to 36 to find the values of x and y's from these two systems of equations now in the first step we start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2 now by starting from equation 1 which is this here x plus y is equal to 6 will make y the subject so we'll take x to the right to the right side so it will be y is equal to 6 this take to this side to be minus x so this equation in terms of y let's call this equation 3 then from equation 2 whereas equation 2 it is this x y is equal to 36 now we substitute equation 3 in terms of y so into y we substitute 6 minus x so it will be x then bracket y it is this 6 minus x bracket is equal to 36 then in the next step we'll multiply x times 6 is 6x x times negative x is negative x square is equal to 36 then here we start with this here minus x square then plus 6x we take the 6 to the left side to be minus 36 is equal to 0 now in the next step from here negative x square will make this positive so we'll divide the whole equation divide by negative 1 so negative x squared divided by negative 1 is positive x squared. S positive 6x divided by negative 1 is minus 6x. Minus 36 divided by negative 1 is positive 36 is equal to 0 divided by negative 1, it is 0. Then from this equation here, which is quadratic equation, to find the values of x, we'll solve it by using quadratic formula. So from quadratic formula, which is x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be x is equal to negative b, this coefficient of x which is negative 6. So it will be bracket negative 6 bracket plus or minus square root of b square. It will be negative 6 bracket square then minus 4 times a is, is 1 times c, c is 36 then over 2 times a, a it is 1 then in the next step it will be x is equal to negative negative 6 is positive 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 square is 36 negative 4 times 36 it will be negative 4 times 6 is 24, go with 1, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 6 is 24, go with 2, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14, then over this time this is 2. Then it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of that 6 minus 144, it will be minus 44 minus 36 it is 8 so to be 8 then 0 then here 1 so negative 108 over this 2 then in the next step it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root let's find the factors of this negative 108 so 108 divided by 2 is 54 Divided by 2 is 27. Divided by 3 is 9. Divided by 3 is 3. Divided by 3 is 1. So into squares, here it will be 2 square. Then times 3 square. Then times this 3. Then times, for this negative here, it will be times negative 1. Then over this Two. Then in the next step, it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus, we separate this, so it will be square root of 2 square, then times square root of 3 square, then times square root 
of 3 then times this square root of negative 1 over 2. So into here it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus here square root of 2 square this square root cancel square so it will be 2 then times square root of 3 square here it will be 3 times square root of 3 square root of negative 1 it is i so here times i then over 2 so it will be x is equal to 6 plus or minus 2 times 3 it is 6 square root of 3 i then divide by 2 we we'll divide by 2 in this part and in this part so it will be x is equal to 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus or minus 6 divided by 2 here it is 3 square root of 3i so from here we have two values of x so the first solution for x is equal to when it is positive it will be 3 plus 3 square root of 3i and the second value of x is equal to when it is negative to be 3 minus square root of 3i so 3 minus 3 square root of 3i then from here after we get the values of x we we'll call from equation 3 which is y is equal to 6 minus x so from y is equal to 6 minus x so this is x1 so y1 is equal to 6 minus x x we substitute this so it will be bracket 3 plus 3 square root of 3 i bracket then it will be y1 is equal to here it will be 6 we open the bracket here to be minus 3 here to be minus 3 square root of 3 i so it will be y1 is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 minus 3 square root of 3 i so this is x1 this is y1 so our solution x1 comma y1 is equal to x1 is this so bracket 3 plus 3 square root of 3 i comma y1 is this 3 minus 3 square root of 3 i bracket then from this solution here we will call this equation which is y is equal to 6 minus x so this is x2 so it will be y2 is equal to 6 minus x x we substitute this so bracket 3 minus 3 square root of 3 i bracket so here it will be y2 is equal to 6 we open the bracket here to be minus 3 minus and minus to be plus 3 square root of 3 i so it will be y2 is equal to 6 minus 3 it is 3 plus 3 square root of 3 i so this is x2 this is y2 so our solution the second solution x2 comma y2 is equal to x2 it is this here so to be bracket 3 minus 3 square root of 3 i comma y2 which is this 3 plus 3 square root of 3 i bracket so these are all the two solutions into this our problem whereas the value of x in the first solution it is the value of y in the second solution and the value of y in the first solution it is the value of x in the first in the second solution now let's check from our problem which is x plus y is equal to 6 and x times y is equal to 36 so we'll check by using this first solution here so here x plus y it will be this plus this so it will be 3 plus 3 square root of 3 i plus y is this 3 minus 3 square root of 3 i is it equal to this 6 now 3 square root of 3i minus 3 square root of 3i this and this is 0 
So it will be 3 plus 3 is 6 is equal to 6. So left side and right side are equal. Now let's check for this second equation by using our answers in the first solution. First solution. So x times y it will be this times this. So here it will be 3 plus 3 square root of 3i bracket times 3 minus 3 square root of 3i bracket is it equal to this 36. Now from 3 times 3 it is 27. Sorry, 3 times 3 it is 9. 3 times negative 3 square root of 3i it will be negative 3 times 3 is 9 square root of 3i. Then 3 square root of 3i times 3, it will be plus 3 times 3 is 9 square root of 3i. Then 3 square root of 3i times 3, negative 3 square root of 3i, it will be negative 3 times 3, it is 9. Square root of 3 times square root of 3, it is 3, so 3. i times i is i square, which is negative 1. Is it equal to this 36. Now from 9 square root of 3i minus 9 square root of 3i is 0. So this and this will cancel. So it will be 9. Then minus times minus it will be positive. 9 times 3 is 27 is equal to 36. Because 9, 9 plus 27 is 36 is equal to 36. So left side and right side are equal. Then it is true for the first solution, also the second solution is correct. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.